WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trending to the upside. That includes the spot volatilities, which is up 20 pennies out there. Dow's up 44. S&P's up 17. NASDAQ is up 86. Russell's up 9. Semis are up 41. Trendies are up 77. Gold's up $4. Silver's up 8 pennies. Lights be crude is up a buck 78. Natural gas is up 2 cents. And the 30 year treasury's up uh, 25. Ticks printed out at 120. Even Stephen. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin upper left hand corner of the ES mini. We don't have any kind of a top. If price closes above 48.9825, that is the Rhodes Mintum indicator topping pattern. If we don't get that, we likely go target 49.4450. That's the A to B equals CD price projection. That's the small A to B equals CD price projection. Above that, you'd be looking at 50.10. If we take a look at the spot volatilities, it is rising, but still below its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day is at 13.61. If price closes above that, that could be curtains for the S&P 500. The NQ yesterday generated a bearish shooting star candle. That confirmed a Rhodesman to indicator top. You don't see that on this chart. You'll see it later during the Trader's Ed show. However, a close above 17, 793.50 would negate that signal. U.S. dollar index uh, continues to find support at the top of its daily profile. That says it's in bullish mode and should go target the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at 104.66. If, in fact, that comes to fruition, we ought to see gold go ahead and make that A to B equals CD to the downside. First price projection, 1986. Second, 1964. Silver ought to do the same. Right now, we've got silver consolidating with inside its profile. It has resistance at 2321 and support at 2237. It closed below 2237, and we're looking at 2134 at a minimum. If we take a look at light sweet crude, it's traded into its sell zone. The sell zone is established by that bearish structured daily profile. The sell zone is between 7548 and 7752. Natural gas. Looked like it was going to go ahead and close above, or trade above, or stay above the top of its daily profile. It's a small profile that formed yesterday. Let me give you those numbers. Support is at 2.136, resistance at 2.249. And finally, if we take a look at the 30 year Treasury, it has basically completed the one to one price projectionary of its A to B equal CD to the downside. If we get a bullish reversal candle, you'll have a Gartley buy pattern. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.